Wow, stories. Am I the idiot for telling my husband to grow up and do his share of the housework? Thank you for all of your comments. There are way too many of them for me to read all of them individually, but the consensus seems to be, very shortly A, leave him, he'll never change. B, hire a cleaner. C, go on strike. D, talk about it and show him this post, a certain article, fair play. E, you're a woman, you should be his servant. Office work is not work, you're lazy. Now besides E, which wasn't one of the main opinions, but a handful of people seem to think that this is an appropriate take in 2024, I have taken all of these into consideration, and I also stumbled upon another opinion, which was F, he might have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder depression. Thinking about it, F might actually be the case. I am not sure yet how to approach it, but I want to get at the problem from that angle first. It would explain why it wasn't always like this. I have a hard time believing he suddenly turned into a traditional man who expects his wife to serve him. That's not who he is, and he is also actively against this when he sees it happening with other people, even going so far as to call it out. Depression or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder plus maybe burnout would each make more sense as to why he changed so much. In this case, no amount of strike on my side would change anything. At the same time, I will be looking into how much having a cleaner come weekly would cost. Thank you to whoever recommended the Sweepy app. My attention deficit hyperactivity disorder brain absolutely loves the gamification aspect of it. As to another common suggestion, Buying a duplex or renting side-by-side -side apartments isn't an option right now. The housing market in our area is terrible. You can be happy if you find one apartment, let alone two. I know some people here seem to be having trouble believing it, but in the area I live in, this is really the case. We don't have enough housing. Landlords can be as picky as they want. Finding another apartment in a halfway decent distance, which is not full of mold, would take about a year and a half. Thank you to everyone who had kind words and advice. I will be asking the mods to close the comments as it is getting too much. My husband, 27-year-old male and I, 26-year-old female, have been having issues with the division of housework for a while now. We have been together for about four years, married for half a year. He promises to do better, he does for a week, then it's back to relying on me to remind him and to pick up his slack. This has been going on for over a year now, ever since we moved into a bigger apartment. We both work full-time jobs, while his is more physically taxing, mine is more mentally taxing. We agreed that a 40-60, him, me, split would be fair, because I can do some tasks easily during my lunch breaks in home office. However, it always ends up being more of a 20-80, and I feel like I am constantly cleaning up after him. The apartment is never fully clean, I just can't catch up. I spend so much time picking up after him, it's exhausting. When I complain about this, I am accused of nagging. Now he has been on a business trip for a total of two weeks, coming back the coming weekend. And I don't want him to. I was even happy when he told me his boss prolonged his trip because that gave me more time to get on top of the household tasks. It's so clean and neat. No empty energy drink cans around, no smelly dishes that stand around for days unless I put them away. There is actually an end to housework. Not the usual, there is more, but I am exhausted. It smells fresh, I feel calm, it's so quiet. I actually have had the energy to try out new recipes and go for walks and stuff. I feel great. Don't get me wrong, I love him, but recently that feeling has been buried by my exhaustion over the whole cleaning situation. My thoughts on our relationship are that he is a good boyfriend, but a terrible roommate which makes him a not-so-great husband. Definitely doesn't feel like a partner right now because a partner is supposed to be a support and not an additional burden. I just don't know what to do with this realization. Has anyone been there and has any solution that isn't breaking up or moving out? Now for a few comments before the update. Comment 1. Breakup. I would start reflecting your attitude with Bills by his attitude to chores. Straight relationships are a trap because women and men split the bills 50-50, but rarely is childcare and chores split that way. Your husband is a burden, and a willing one, who knows how much work he is adding to your life, 
and refuses to simply just do his part. And most likely, the only advice you will get in order to have him do his part is for you to walk on eggshells praising him while swallowing your resentment that you have to praise a grown man like a child who is doing you some immense favor rather than him doing the bare minimum of cleaning up after himself. Get a man who respects you and loves you. This man does neither. Comment 2. You are 26. Get out of this while you are still young. Think of how happy you would be coming home to a clean apartment every single day. He knows what the issue is and he knows that it bothers you. He has not made any real effort or changes because he does not care. Honestly, why should he? You keep cleaning, so no real consequences for him. Start making a plan and then get out. When does your lease end? Make a plan around that. Have one last talk with him about it, and that's it. If he makes changes, great. And if he doesn't, your plan is already in place. I know you have been socialized to believe that you have to deal with this, but you don't. A clean home is a basic requirement and you deserve it. Good luck. Now for the update. Two days after my last post, I had a long chat with my husband about housework while he was home for the weekend. I made a simple dinner and we sat at the kitchen table to talk. I started by saying how much I liked the clean apartment during his trip. He seemed surprised and said he thought I was just being dramatic. I showed him the app I was using to track chores and how it clearly showed the imbalance. He dismissed the app as unimportant and said it wasn't a big deal. I explained that it was a big deal to me and brought up the idea of professional help. He got defensive and accused me of not believing he could change. The conversation got heated and he left the table frustrated, saying I was making him feel like a terrible partner. I decided to give him space and went to my favorite coffee shop to clear my head. At the coffee shop, I unexpectedly ran into my neighbor who asked how things were going with my husband. I mentioned the ongoing housework issues in the app, which led to a deeper conversation. My neighbor shared how they had similar issues and ended up hiring a cleaner. Later that week, my husband had a work event and I decided to invite my sister over for dinner. During dinner, my sister casually mentioned that she noticed I seemed more relaxed lately. I told her about the cleaner idea, and she supported it fully. My husband returned home late that night, and I mentioned wanting to discuss hiring a cleaner. He seemed annoyed and said that we could manage it ourselves. The next day, I called a few cleaning services to get quotes. I found one that was affordable and scheduled a trial clean for the following week. I mentioned this to my husband, and he rolled his eyes, saying it was unnecessary. A few days later, we went to my parents' anniversary dinner together. During dinner, my dad joked about how he and my mom shared all their chores equally. My husband laughed but quickly changed the subject, avoiding it altogether. After dinner, my mom pulled me aside and asked if everything was okay. I told her about our struggles with housework, and she listened closely. My mom suggested I talk to my husband again and be more direct about my needs. I decided to take her advice and plan to have a serious talk once more. The weekend of the trial clean arrived and I was excited to see the results. I prepped the apartment, making sure everything was ready for the cleaner. My husband was out for the day, so I could focus on getting things ready. When the cleaner arrived, I felt a sense of relief as she started working. After she left, I was thrilled with how clean the apartment looked. I took pictures and sent them to my husband, hoping to impress him. He came home later and seemed indifferent to the cleaning results. I confronted him about his lack of enthusiasm, and he said he didn't want to rely on someone else. I pushed back, explaining that it was about balance, not dependence. Tensions rose, and he stormed out, saying he needed time to think. Edit. Two weeks later, my husband and I had a long talk. He confessed he felt insecure about not doing enough. We agreed on a revised chore split and committed to weekly check-ins. We're still using the cleaner bi-weekly, and it's been a game-changer. Progress is slow, but we're working on it together. 